Hi guys, Liz Gillette here from Main Street Financial Planning. I've been asked by a lot of my clients, what are some of the thoughts that pop into a financial planner's head when they find out that they're expanding their family? Well, lucky for you, this just happened pretty recently for me. So I wanted to take a moment to tell you some of those things that were top of mind. One, my family uses outside help during the day when my husband and I are at work. So one of my very first thoughts was, okay, let me talk to my husband, let's share this exciting news. And number two, let's pick up the phone and let's call daycare and let them know that they need to be reserving a spot for my future child. So that may not apply to everyone. Maybe you stay home with your kids, maybe you have family help, maybe it's more flexible, but there's a good percentage of us out there that are pretty reliant on whether there is an opening at their preferred daycare, childcare facility. So that was number one. Number two, I immediately felt myself pull back and pull on the reins in our spending. Just recognizing that with each little body, it might be small, but with each little body that you add to your household, it definitely increases your expenses quite a bit. So that was something that I just felt myself naturally tightening the reins as I start to think about that's a delivery to pay for um, and the cost of a child, right, and all of their needs and maybe future college savings. And so step two, I would say, is definitely don't delay in that saving. You don't have to wait till the child's here to just kind of pull in the budget a little bit tighter. And step three, pretty closely related to that is an emergency fund. The reason why I bring that up, obviously, as I said, kids cost more money, but I also want you to be thinking that most emergency funds are built off of a function of your monthly spending. Your monthly spending, if you're making the jump from zero to one child, one to two, five to six, however many children that you have, you notice that increase with each child that's added. So if your emergency fund is a function of, oh, we spend this much per month, we want six months stored away in cash in the case of an emergency, just keep in mind that that amount will be going up. And of course, really start to think through what that parental leave looks like, right? Is it covered? Is it paid by an employer? Are you gonna take time? But most families find themselves coming out of pocket at least a little bit there. So start to build up that extra cash cushion with the savings that you've been cutting, with that spending that you've been cutting down on. So that's as much time as I wanted to take up today. Just wanted to get some ideas in front of you guys and hope you're having a wonderful day.